Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Well, if you want to see a team playing with confidence right now, you have come to the right place because the home squad is on fire. Really looking forward to this one tonight. The Islanders start with possession as we are now underway. The Penguins played along the boards. And sends it just out of reach. Big hit. Well, he's going to have to pick himself up. But then he's got to go get his twig, which is slid all the way over there before he can get back in the play. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. With possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. They are really pouring on the pressure here. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Can't make the connection on the pass. And now it's grabbed by Dumoulin. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's see the call here. Oh, I hated that, James. As soon as you make this play, you know your next stop is into the penalty box. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Kapanen stick handling in his own zone. Drives it to the crease! Scores! A short-handed goal! And they've got a head here! And this is a scenario you just don't think is possible. A tie game, a team on the power play, and it's a short-handed team that comes out ahead. What a great play by an aggressive penalty-killing group. Uh, what a tough break for the goaltender. This thing's just shoveled towards the net somehow. And as it's bouncing around, the goalie can't track it, can't keep his body in front of it. Now he's got to fish it out from behind him. Pachos won the draw here in the open ice. To the low slot! Scores! And the power play goal puts us back to a tie game! All that work to try and get even, but you need the power play to help you out once in a while. They were sharp, efficient, and now this game is tied with that power play marker. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. It's all tied up. The Islanders win possession here in the open ice. Takes the puck at the point. Takes it to the front, and he comes up with it. Takes the pass from his goaltender. The Smiths had a lot to do with the team's winning record. His save percentage has been excellent all season. Pass broken up. Pellick's starting to squeeze the stick a little bit here. He's been a while without a point. Pellick's effective at stick checking and playing solid D in his own end, guys. His stick em up zone ability means he can use his twig to disrupt attackers. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Pellix moving the puck through his own zone. Nice feed. Into the corner of the attacking area. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. And that's off target as it hits a body. Centering to the middle. Picked off in front. Here's a short pass to Rust. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Rust. Zucker's always thinking shot here. And we got it here as he tucks it into the net. These teams are jammed together. That goal might open it up. Oh, he'd like to tell you that he aimed that shot. Yeah, really? That thing's on his stick and off his stick in a hurry. You're just trying to get it over top of the goalie. The Penguins have the go-ahead goal. What's the approach now? Shouldn't change at all, James, because there's too much time left. Be aggressive and try and stretch the lead to two. Carter's won it. Puck scooped up by Ruda. And now it's over to Joseph. And that carries off a body in traffic. Sends it in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack. 
And he slides it quickly to Dobson. Tremendous stick saved by DeSmith. That happened so quickly, that low slot shot. The goaltender's in position, and he makes the save. And scores! And that's two in a row! You get one, you stay hungry, you want to stay on your toes, and while the defending team's back on their heels, they throw another one on the board. Everything happened so quickly that close to the net. You don't really have time to adjust. That puck's on your back end, shoot it on your back end. A terrific shot because it's in the net. Here in the later stages of this period, the Penguins now lead by two. Pittsburgh's won the draw. They take possession here in the open ice. Puck picked up by Bluger. The Islanders have it now. Slides the puck to Barzell. Pass in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Offside the call. We'll get a faceoff coming up. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Penguins win the faceoff. McKinn's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Moves the puck. From the point, they take control of it. Handles the pass. Shuts him down. That concludes period number one. I cannot believe they got one of the all-time great 90s hip-hop acts getting set to play for the fans here in this intermission. I can't wait for this. We'll come back to period number two in just a bit. Pittsburgh sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Man, you get that top-ranked power play on the ice, and you're starting to feel like things are going to run your way here. First opportunity for them. Works it across to Martin. And he slides it quickly to Pellet. Centering pass. And that doesn't connect. The Smith's going to elect for the face-off and maybe just a chance to play with the puck a little. Well, you get to feel it for sure, but he hasn't had much to do at all. His team's been in control as they lead this game. Bailey's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Great defensive play to get in front of that one. Goalie makes the save. Read of the play was perfect, but it's his quickness that gets out tight to the puck, so the shooter can't elevate it anywhere. There's nowhere for the puck to go. The Islanders are in transition. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Rust. Moves the puck over to Crosby. The Penguins take it along the wall. Log jam in front. That's broken up. Quick pass across to Parisi. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Sends a pass over. Slides the puck to Bailey. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Sends it into the offensive zone. As the boos rain down, the power play gets more frustrated. They start to press, and it gets worse. The crowd shows their frustration. The players aren't acting on it very well at all. The Penguins have it against the wall. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Really aggressive work by the penalty killers. They shut that power play down without any danger. The Smith's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. We're still in the early stages of this period. Pittsburgh's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Musa quickly over to Dumoulin. Takes it into the slot. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Handles the puck. Pittsburgh's moving it into the offensive end. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Directs it on over to Beauvillier. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Quick feed to Kapanen. Oh, I like the way he's hanging on to this thing. He's got two goals already. If he gets a chance, here might be number three. Moves the puck across to Pedersen. 
Taken by Kapanen. Look out! There's the hat trick! First time this season he scored three. He's done it before, but it never gets less exciting. James, I think the, the quickness of the delivery of the puck is more important than the placement when you're in this tight. You're just trying to open up a hole for the goaltender. The Penguins have now extended the lead yet again, and they show no signs of letting up here. No, now they're having some fun here. This is like a scoring practice for them. Pittsburgh's won the draw in the neutral zone. Tries to the crease. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by McGinn. New York's got it in their own zone. And a good solid hit on that play. That's no surprise. I mean, after that hit that he took earlier in the shift, slowly working his way to the bench to get some help from the trainer. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. They score! And it's an offensive tight away here. Hard to believe. That almost felt like it came out of nowhere, James. The four straight, they start to fly through the middle of the ice. There's no defense for that. Obviously, the puck's in the net all day. The Penguins have added yet another marker, and their fans are loving every minute of this. It's been domination, and now we're still in the second period. They've had the puck the whole time. They've done pretty much anything they've wanted to. This has not been a fair fight. Taken by Bellows, and that's turned aside. The Smiths had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Up along the wing. And he takes the feed. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Harder you try, sometimes the worse it gets. Maybe just make the simple play, and you'll probably advance things a little better. Goes right to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Pass across to Malkin. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make the... stick with this. Once he stumbles, it looks like the play's over. But he stays with it and finds a way to beat the goaltender. The Penguins are almost making their opponents beg for the end of this second period, Ray. I'll tell you what those two locker rooms are going to be like, James. I've been in both of them. The one that's way ahead, it is a giggle fest. Everyone's having a good time. The other one, you could hear a pin drop from anywhere in that room. I'll take the giggles. Got it in the defensive end. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Off target. Just hooks that one up high. I mean, he's going for the shelf, just over top of the bar. All right, that brings period number two to an end. Uh, the ice resurfacers coming out onto the ice. They'll give it a little cleaning, and I can see Ray Ferraro down there between the benches tap dancing. I can only imagine where he needs to go. Third period, just around the corner. Welcome back, James Cebulski, ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Well, it's been a fun one here tonight as the third period is underway. Ray, what did you make of the first two periods? The Penguins have been terrific through 40 minutes. Now a comfortable lead that they're just trying to ease their way into the finish line. Picked up along the boards by Raquel. Passes it over to Barcel. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Raquel's got it along the wing. Sets it out front, and that's intercepted. Taken along the wall by Raquel. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Quick pass to Paul Mary. Pittsburgh's got control of the puck. 
Here they come up along the wing. On the attack along the boards. And he makes the save. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Not a great penalty anytime, but when you're getting pumped like this, it's no good. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. You can always tell when the power play hasn't had many chances. Those guys are hungry to get over the boards in a hurry. Moves it to Heinen. And not much on that one. When you're the offensive player, it seems like so much more work when you've got to go hunt the puck down in the corner. That's a good save. Carter's got it along the boards. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Heinen's got a hold of the puck behind the net. Picked up along the wall by Raquel. Cuts to the paint. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Crosby's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Bailey's won it off the faceoff. Slides the puck over to Parisi. And a little body contact on that play. The Penguins have it from their own end. Puck said down the ice, we'll get an icing. Clutterbuck's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Puck has dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Fires it on net. That eyes him on the play. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Strong use of the body. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the boards. Moves into the slot. Puck grab by Mulkin. And he takes the dish. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Passes on over to Thompson. Nelson's ready to go. Grabbed along the boards by Latang. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. Passes it to Bailey. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Directed over to Latang. Receives the pass. Into the middle of the neutral zone. New York's looking to break out of their own end. And now it's grabbed by Kapanen. Poked away by Romanov. He's got it behind the cage. Poked away in the neutral zone by Heinen. Here they come on the attack. From point blank. The Smith's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Edmonton's up next on the calendar. Do players ever look ahead to games? I, I think so. I mean, in particular, when there's one that stands out, it's a ex-Stanley Cup champion or the team you sure. used to play against. Those ones always carry a little more pop. Quick feed down low. Moves the puck down low. And he takes the feed. There's an injection. They're going to go. Yeah, he jumped in pretty quickly after his teammate got hurt. He wants to defend here. But those are sometimes dangerous out there, right? Uh, they can be. I mean, honestly, you can land on the side of your head and you've got a real problem. I'd like to see the linesman drop on the ice and give it the one, two, three, you're out. <laughs> Count him out. And after that tilt, looks like cooler heads have finally prevailed and we're ready to drop the puck once again. Barzell's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Petrie's lugging the puck. 
Pittsburgh's working the transition through the middle of the ice. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick pass to Archibald. Bluger's picking up momentum through center. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Crosby's won the draw here in the neutral zone. New York's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Pajo. Made the stop on that play. Pittsburgh's gained the line and into the zone. Cuts into the paint. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Close save. How did he get a piece of that? Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And now he moves it to Raquel. Into the offensive zone. And he takes a shot. There's a great save on an excellent chance there. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the Pistons. On the rebound, lights the lamp for the goal. You want money? You go to the bank. You want bread? You go to the store. You want goals? You get into the net. The rebound's there. He puts it away. Face-off here in the initial zone, and we are back underway. Snapper from the slot. Big save just as time runs out. And there's the final. performance. He's so good when he gets the puck on his stick. He's got a real sense of when to deliver it, and he was lights out tonight. You know, there was a time it almost seemed like it was cool to ignore the fans after a game, but man, it's way more audience participation now. Well, it's all part of the bigger picture. This is supposed to be entertainment. They cheer you, you salute them. Everybody goes home happy. And that's all she wrote.